can imagine it's going to be pretty hard going at first. You know, people talk about the silence that really hits you once you get back home and there's no one around and you're back in your home again and you've got your normal life to deal with again and that thought isn't good. But that's what they say. I think it's going to be a, a quite, a, quite a difficult sort of couple of weeks for sure. I was almost excited to see if this trip had any impact on him. It's highs and lows, isn't it, you know? I've had a, a, a massive high. You've got to deal with the lows, and I suppose it's how you deal with that which uh, maybe just makes you stronger, or you could go two ways. You, you know, you might get really motivated to do stuff, or you might just think, oh, God, I can't be bothered with anything in England. It's just, just really crap. Hopefully, it's going to go the other way for me, and I'm going to want to do as much as I can to experience things like this. Things sink in, a, a, you know, a lot harder. Once you're driving back down that A19, it's, you know, you can smell it before you, you, you even arrive there. Coming back's not nice, to be fair. It's, it's, it's never nice, especially from Thailand. It must be the worst place to come back to Middlesbrough from. Adam had been told about the sickness and depression he would face, but no one can prepare you for what lays ahead. I wanted to know if Adam was feeling okay. Adjusting back is difficult. Immediately, you are sideswiped by how different life is, and confusion sets in. <laughs> 